Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a mod that adds a new location kind of here. This is the Shade of the Inn camp. This mod's called Shade of the Inn. And there's supposed to be a fight here. And then the fight's supposed to unlock a new outfit once, I imagine, you kill the person who currently owns the outfit. As well as a weapon that they currently own as well. So we're going to head there, which is real close here to the Starlight Drive-In, Drumlin Diner area. So you can get here pretty early on in the game. I'm going to head there and I'm going to see what we got going on and I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright everybody, we are here at the Starlight Drive-In. We're going to, you know, work our way over here slowly to see what we got going on at the Shade of the Inn camp. Hopefully we just don't get absolutely murdered. There's a guy over here. We do have some Shade of the Inn. He's the skull. Or she, or whatever. I'm not sure, you know, the... They have a lot of HP. Let's be clear about that. You know what? That's what Vaz is for. Crits. I mean, I'm critting them in the... I mean, it's in the body. It's not like a headshot. I mean, we should have gone for the head on that. But still doing lots... I mean, like a decent amount of damage. But it is taking a lot of bullets. So this person is tough. It's not something you would want to do maybe early on in the game. But I did I did do it. I did it. The person is dead. So they have the Shade of the End pistol and Shade of the End as an outfit. That doesn't actually... Is that a dude? It looks like a dude. That's the outfit, I guess. It's cool looking like skull thing. Kicking the body around a little bit. I love kicking bodies around. Okay. So let's take a look at this, I guess, right now while we're here. So we have Shade of the End outfit. Let me quickly take off all my cyberpunk outfit here. We should go down to S, Shade of the End. So we have a thousand rad resistance. Really good, you know, physical and energy resistance. And only weighs three. So this is our Shade of the End outfit here. Just the same, right? Got big old overcoat, kind of like um, Maxis, uh, Maxin, Paul. Oh, what's his name? Oh, I haven't played that in a long time. Uh, what, the Brotherhood of Steel guys overcoat. This girl, all gonna judge me in the comments for that. I don't remember his name with Maxis, Max? What is his name? Anyway, we also have a cool skull mask with the cool skull horns and all that, like bone theme, but it's all metallic and stuff. Very apocalyptic, death style, doom warrior, soldier, fucking badassery thing. Obviously, the outfit does work with both male and female characters, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, because it definitely has, like, the Brotherhood of Steel, like, under thing, but, like, retextured to be metallic and black and stuff. And, like, a lot of cool, like, that's, like, a leather arm retextured to be black here. on the. So it's, like, a combination of things that kind of already existed besides the dope-ass fucking bitch and skull mask, which is, like, the best part of the whole thing. And then we also have the Shade of the End pistol, though. Um, so this is, it looks like a skull. It looks like a skull. It's a 10 millimeter with bones on it. I don't know how you'd ever aim this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I could do it. I could obviously aim it in third person, but like, I don't know how you, it looks like a 10 mil, right? It's just a 10 millimeter pistol, but with, with bones on it. No wonder that guy wasn't doing that much damage to me. He couldn't see <laughs> through his pistol. He's like, I have no sights. Um, <laughs> it is a cool looking gun though. It is a cool looking theme, right? The very skeleton bone theme. And it is dope, right? I'm for it. So we're going to take this stuff to a weapon slash armor workbench. And we'll see what we can kind of, if we can customize it, put ballistic grip on that. You never know. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody. We're at a workshop. Maxon is the name. I looked that up while I took a little break. It's Maxon. Maxis. It was close. I, I understood what I was talking about. I'm like the worst with fucking names, though. Um, I do not see this stuff here in the armor workbench, though. So you get what you get in terms of the defensive statistics, which is a lot. It already is very tanky set of armor and obviously you have to earn it by even you know killing the previous owner it looks like you can change this like a 10 millimeter pistol i imagine it wouldn't be that much different i mean let's make it automatic why not i want to see if i can if it's going to get like messed up looking though the more attachments and stuff I'm, i put on there i really do like the fact that you can look at the pistol though here in this view um well we could you know do most of the stuff i wonder if like a sights disabled or something no it says sights can we is it actually gonna do anything I don't think so. Like, the recon scope's sticking out there, but... I mean, I guess that would be one way to do it, right? If you had the recon scope, then you could zoom in on that, like, a certain way and actually have sights. Suppressor, sure. We'll, we'll take a look at this. It, it's still gonna, obviously... <laughs> this is not a weapon meant for functionality, but we can obviously aim now, right? Because you have a recon scope. Full auto 10 mil. Um, and obviously that causes some clipping. It's not meant to be used with the recon scope. I'm just trying to figure out ways to make the weapon actually functional right because if you put like glow sights on there which is what i normally do i'm a big fan of, of the glow sights i'm not a big fan of big scopes you're not seeing anything like i'm not even seeing where our bullets hit right now if you want to use this weapon purely in vats obviously that would work out okay 
as much as it looks cool cosmetically, I'm a function over form person, so the fact that the weapon cannot really be effectively aimed down sight makes it kind of useless to me in particular. And I, I know that will be true of some of you out there as well. But some of you will be like, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's got bones. It's real cool. And I'm like, that's a man. And like I said, you can only, always use it in VATS. You can put that recon scope on there to kind of like aim down sight that way, I guess. Um, but the outfit's really cool. I think the outfit's my favorite part because it actually is functional. It's very powerful armor, essentially. And it's like, I mean, look at the fucking skull on that fucking thing. It's like almost like red on the teeth part too. Like it's like bleeding. Oh man. Like that's some tough ass shit. Like I said, it works for both male and female. Obviously, you'll have to earn it. You'll have to kill the shade of the end and to take their armor. Um, I don't really recommend the pistol because it's not like any better either. It's just a 10 millimeter, but it's got bones on it. You could just use a regular 10 millimeter and actually be more effective due to the fact that you actually have scopes and sights you can use on there. But I do recommend this armor set. It does look nice here on the CBE body as well as I imagine it looks nice in the male body. That's a pretty simple thing to do. You know, you could be very, very intimidating to your enemies, I would say. So the description of this, this skull mask here is very good. Like, I'm for it. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, dislike the video. That's fine, too. You could be like, he didn't know Max's name. I remembered. I'm horrible with names, you guys. But if you want to dislike the video for that, go ahead. Like, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't really care. I don't even really look at that stuff. Um, but if you guys also would like to, you can subscribe. So that way you can check out more videos from me. I do make follow-up for mods a couple times a week. And you can check out all those videos if you subscribe. It's the easiest way to do that. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, or whatever time it may be, like if it's nighttime or the morning, because it's technically, you can't say you have a good rest of your day if it's if it's nighttime, because it's, it's the night, so that's why I say, or whatever time it may be, I you explain that joke to you. It's not really a joke, I guess, it's just like a clarification of circumstance. We mean about big fancy words. But pretty much other than that, though, you guys, I will see you in the next episode.